Hey yo, and welcome to another episode of Advanced Glitch Building. I'm Criss Cross Applesauce, and today I'm going to show you how I like to do some stylized staircases that kind of wrap around from a central point. I've done a couple of these in several different recent builds and have been asked about them, so let's just get right into it. Starting with two level wires in a row that are each one large floor length apart from each other, wire glitch in a large wall on the left hand side in the center one, then reverse wire glitch from the top of each of them, pulling to their connection at an angle down and to the right then delete everything but the two wires you just created, leaving you with two upright parallel wires at an angle. Next, we need to shorten them to the length of a small paver and angle them at 45 degrees. Just wire glitch in a small paver and then build out and up or down in any direction in reverse wire glitch, then blender glitch a small paver into the top or the bottom wire and connector. Then reverse wire glitch from any of the four sides of that pulling to the center of where that small paver is. You can delete the longer two wires as you don't need them anymore. Next, we're going to make what I call a 5-7 ellipses, starting from each of these different small pavers with the wire at their center. To do this, start by building a 5x5 five five square down and away from that starting paver. And at each of the corners of this square, you need to save a short wire the length of a small paver so that we can create circles from them here in a moment. Then, from these different positions, we need to build four different circles. The top and the bottom position need to be 16-sided circles, and the left and the right position need to be 32-sided circles. Once you're done with those, we can start deciding exactly how big we want the radius of our ellipses to be. Next, from your top 16-sided circle, reverse wire glitch from two small pavers away from the center point at the very topmost position and pull down connecting to your center point. Repeat this process from two spaces to the right of this center wire and two spaces to the left of it, pulling and connecting each of the wires to your center. Once you're done with that, you can delete your center circle and then repeat the process in a mirrored fashion from the lower 16-sided circle. This time, your fan of wires needs to be facing down, away from the top one. Everything should look like this when you're done. Next, from the right-hand side, 32-sided circle, find the side that is pointing directly towards the top 16-sided circle's center point. Then, from one position to the left of that, build out five small pavers, and on the sixth small paver, reverse wire glitch pulling to your center point. Repeat this process from the next row down, and the next row down after that, until you have a fan of seven rows of wires that have their endpoint six small pavers away from your center point. Be careful as your center row will be pointing directly to the adjacent 32 sided circle on the opposite side of the ellipses. And grabbing that wire can be a little bit difficult sometimes, but not impossible. Once you have that all done, go ahead and repeat the process in a mirrored fashion from your left-sided 32-sided circle, fanning out seven different rows, six small pavers away from your center point, out towards where your other 32-sided circle was. This will complete your first ellipses. And then once you're done with that, you get to go ahead and repeat the entire process of making this 5-7 ellipses at the other angled starting paver. Once you've done all that, you should have this delightful mess of wires at perfect parallel angles from each other. Now we can go ahead and start building the staircase. All you have to do is with your selected stair type, blender glitch from the back ellipses to the front ellipses, making sure that the two wire end connectors that you are pulling to and from are on the exact same level. Basically, you're just blender glitching from the back ellipses connection points to their counterparts on the front ellipses. Once you do this all the way around the ellipses, you will have your perfect oval of stairs. Now, you can also adjust the size of these stairs. You can adjust which stairs you use. You can adjust the size of the entire staircase itself simply by what parts you use to make the circles from your ellipses or how big you make your ellipses to start, how far apart you make your ellipses. Really, it's all entirely up to you. For the purposes of this tutorial, I just showed you this method here. Well, I hope you guys learned something cool today. And I would love to see you guys 
put this into action. I've only used it a couple of times and I think it has a lot of versatility to it. Um, let me know what you think in the comments, like and subscribe, all that jazz, and I will see you in the next one.